Tonight, she's really struggling to make sense of this. Her son, Dion Emery, was a husband and father. His life tragically cut short a day before Christmas here at the intersection of Schoolcraft and Greenfield. His mother telling me tonight they are devastated and demanding justice. We were all in anguish. Patricia Rutland's only son, Dion Emery, was murdered in a hit and run on Detroit's west side the day before Christmas. He was charismatic. He had a smile. He could... Oh, he would debate about anything, and he loves sports. The family believes the 44-year-old husband and father was crossing Greenfield to catch the bus after leaving a friend's house. Authorities say Emery was struck and killed around 12.30 a.m. at the intersection of Schoolcraft and Greenfield. Take a good look at your screen. Detroit police releasing this surveillance video of a blue sedan, possibly a Ford Fusion, which police think is responsible. Investigators say the driver of the four-door car made a right on Plymouth and disappeared. Jeff Callis, we saw the tape. They were speeding. Never looked back. My son went up. They say he died instantly. I'm praying he did. Emery spent more than a decade working at casinos in downtown Detroit. He was recently out of work due to the pandemic. His mother also tells us that it took seven days before they were notified that he was killed. It's just sad. And then the police came and, and had his ID and never contacted us. It is no words can explain the pain. Is no words can explain the hurt. And I just thought about it. I live right around the corner from here. If someone had to just contacted me, then it has saved us seven days of pain and anguish. Of course, we reached out to the D Detroit police and they are blaming the medical examiner's office on that delay and notifying the family. Dave, meantime, uh, police are hunt on the hunt for the driver of that vehicle. If you have any information, you're urged to call Detroit Police. Live on Detroit's West Side, I'm Rudy Harper, 7 Action News.